Hi, and welcome to another iOS 5-minute tip from Accelerate. I'm Bear Cahill, one of the instructors at Accelerate, and I'm excited to show you about an image cache. This is a really quick and easy way to write an image cache that will save on your network usage, which helps out users for their battery, their data plan, performance, and lots of other things. Good taste in fine clothing. I don't know what else, but it does help. So I have a simple app here that when I tap load, it loads an image from the server. If I tap it again, it cycles through these three apps, and every time I tap this, it goes to the server. But we would uh, benefit a lot from performance if we could just store those files locally and read them from the disk instead of always going to the server. So let's do that now. So I've got a class here called Image Cache. I was thinking ahead. And what it does is it goes out to the server and loads the image. But once we load the image, we want to store it locally. So we're going to write a function called store image. And this is going to take a URL string, and it's going to take the image itself. Now, there's no return type because it doesn't return anything. It just stores the image. I've made these functions static, but you could make them uh, instance functions if you'd like. So the first thing we want to do is actually store the image to a file. So let's get a path. We'll say let path equal, and let me close this for some space. Uh, path is going to equal the NS temporary directory, and then I'm going to append onto that UUID, UUID string. And then let's get a URL that represents that. So we'll do URL, file URL with path, and pass in the path. Now let's get the data of the image itself. So I'll say let data equal image.jpg. You could do PNG, but I'm using JPEG so I can compress it a little bit. And then I'm going to write it out. So I'm going to say try question mark so that it doesn't throw an exception if it fails and I'm going to write to the URL. So we've stored it to the disk, but now we need to store this relationship of the URL to the path to be able to load it next time. So I'm going to get a dictionary out of the user defaults. Now the first time through this won't uh, exist, so we'll have to create it. And I'm going to give it the key image cache. You can name it whatever you like, or you can create that as a constant. So I'm going to say if dict equals nil, dict equals string, string, empty dictionary, and now we know we have it, so I'm going to force unwrap it and store to the URL string key the path that we created, and then of course I need to resave the dictionary. So I'm going to use the set any, pass in the dict, and of course image cache. So now that we have it stored, we want to use it next time the app loads. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I didn't cast it as a dictionary here. When I read it out, this returns an any. So we want to make sure that it is a string string dictionary. Now we can uh, treat it as a dictionary. That's probably pretty good. Okay, once we create the image successfully, we want to make sure that we call our new function and store the image. And then next time through, when we try to load the image, we want to first check the cache. So we're going to say if, and we're going to use this same optional binding, but we can treat it as a let this time. So if we get this dictionary, we also want to see if, if we can uh, get a value for path using the URL string. And we'll pass in URL string as the key. And if we got that path, then we want to try to read our file. So we're going to say if let data equal data, and that is going to be called with a try optional. And we're going to use the uh, contents of URL. So we're going to create a URL with the file path and pass in the path. Now, if we have this data, we want to create an image and call the completion. So we'll say let img equal UI image, and we'll call the one that takes data. And then we'll call completion with the URL string and the image. Now the reason we're passing in the URL string back to the uh, caller is that if it was being used in a table view, for example, and the user is scrolling through, well that cell may have asked for that image, but by the time it's downloaded and passed back in, that's no longer the image that they're interested in. So this is a good way to validate that the image being passed back is the one that they were interested in. So the first time through, the app should have to download all of these images, but after that, we should be able to use the cache. So one, two, three, now we should use the cache. There's our breakpoint. And same for the other one, so I'll kill the breakpoint. 
and now we're using the images from the cache. So I hope that was interesting. I hope you learned something. And if you'd like to learn more, I and or one of the other instructors at Accelerate would love to come out and teach a course at your site. You can get contact information in the description below or here. Thanks a lot.